want to tell you this the present story, new story. And uh, in August, yeah, sometime in August or the end of August, almost before we came here, uh, the the sister who cooked for me every day Vietnamese, and she's going, so they arrange for somebody to come. Well, I don't know. They say somebody will come from uh, America. I say, what's her name? They say Nguyen, <laughs> Vietnamese. <laughs> and the sister say, Master, every Vietnamese name Nguyen. <laughs> I say, who is that? She say, oh, we don't know. We just say Nguyen. <laughs> so she say, must everybody in Vietnam is Nguyen, just like every Korean is Kim. <laughs> Even vegetable they eat is kimchi. <laughs> so, so we were laughing so much. And then I said to my assistant, uh, this sister, she's going back to Germany because she has, uh, she has uh, children. She wanted to say, I said, no, no, no. You, you have children, you have responsibility, you have to go home. She said, oh, they're all big already, they can cook themselves. <laughs> I said, yes, but they need you, yeah? They need you to guide them until they... until they die. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> it's like that. Even after they have children themselves, they still need you to babysit, to, uh, to run back when they argue with the husband or wife. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, to help them shopping, anything, anything. They always need you until they die or until you die. <laughs> Either way, you know. All right, I <laughs> said, so just go back. I don't need, I don't need you to stay here just to cook for me. I have not needed anybody up to now, you know. I cook for myself all the time. So don't worry, I won't die, I promise. <laughs> so she said, yeah, but uh, somebody's coming, you know. Then he said, win, you know, win. <laughs> All right. All right, then I said to my assistant, uh, whoever comes, I don't care, win or Kim, <laughs> just uh, tell her if she has children, she cannot stay for three months, you know, until her visa finished. She cannot stay that long, you know. They can take turns if they really worry about me. They can take turns. Everybody comes, you know, maybe a couple of weeks or something, but not not to stay as long as the visa lasts. No, yeah. So they she came and asked the the chef, or the Taiwanese chef in the kitchen, uh, that sister who is coming, does she have uh, the new sister? Ah, the sister is coming. Does she have children? And because they say, is she arrived already? Does she have children or not? Uh, and she came back and said to me, the chef, she said, Master, she has two children. Okay. I said, in that case, she cannot stay long, huh? And then later, I, I asked, go and ask her what's her name. You know, full name, not Nguyen. <laughs> Nguyen is, because then, then probably I know her, you know. Not very many Nguyen, is it? <laughs> Yeah, but there are a couple of women who cooked for me before in uh, when I was in America. So I pro I want to ask her maybe I knew her or not. And she came and asked. She said, "No, it's not a win. It's a Juan. Juan." I said, "We don't have Juan in Vietnam. Oh, you mean Juan?" She said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, something like that." I said, "And she has two children, master." Say what? Okay, then cannot, cannot stay. And then. And then later she come back and tell her, oh, Master, she has no children. She say, completely free, she's free. She's not married, she's completely free. She can stay as long as she wants, you know. Oh, my God, just just a few meters apart. <laughs> and the two leg newspaper so, brought me the wrong news like that. Imagine, oh, imagine. Because I already said, uh, then she cannot stay. Maybe somebody else is better. And so she protests vehemently. No, I'm completely free. I'm completely free. <laughs> and then, uh, then we know her is wrong. I said, but why did you tell me she has two children? Where did two children come from? <laughs> oh, sorry, master. It's a Chinese chef who told me. <laughs> you see what I mean? I heard from this, and then we heard from that, then we heard from that. Probably mix up with the sister, you know? Her sister has two children, but she doesn't have any children. <laughs> She's not married. Oh, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, suddenly she's given two children for free. <laughs> Instant family, just like that. All right. 
So we come back to the village, okay, of the king Maha. Maha. Okay. Uh, the headman, the headman of the village, was angry with us. That's why he's, you know, fabricating this story to tell you. Uh, so the king, the king say, friends, this animal knows your good qualities, but I, who am a man, was unable to discern them. Pardon me. He means the elephant even knew that they are good men, so they he did not trample upon them even by order. Normally, when they are trained well, the animal would do that, but he did not. So he said, even this animal knows your good qualities, but I am even a man, a king, and know not. Pardon me. He apologized to these uh, 33 good gentlemen. So saying, the king made the village headman their slave. My God, that's a very, very mild sentence, right? He was going to kill 34 persons, and the king so leniently made him only a servant of them, together with his children and wife. Okay, well, it's not bad, because of the family, he didn't want to kill them, kill him, I guess. Gave them a riding elephant and presented that village to them to do with as they saw fit. The king gave them an elephant to ride, yeah, and gave them the whole village yeah. instead of the headman. Thought the thirty-three youths, even in this life, the advantage to be derived from the performance of work of merit is clearly to be seen already. And mounting the elephant by turns, they rode about the village, which now became their village. Yeah. As they went about the village, they took counsel together, saying, It is our duty to perform yet more abundant works of merit. What shall we do? Thereupon the following thought occurred to them. Let us build at the crossing of the four highways a rest house for the multitude, making it secure and strong. So they summoned the builder and ordered him to build a hall for them. And because desire for women had departed from them, they resolved to give women no share in the building of the hall. Why? Hmm. That's not fair. They don't desire them. It doesn't mean they should not accept the woman, right? I guess they didn't want to <laughs> mess up with, with our strong, you know, <laughs> side of <laughs> of humans. <laughs> now there were four women living in Maha's house, named Joy, thoughtful, goodness, and well-born. Goodness went secretly to the builder, gave him a bribe, and said to him, "Brother, give me the principal share in the building of this house, of this hall." Very well replied the builder, agreeing to her proposal. Accordingly, he first marked a tree out of which to make a pinnacle, felled it, and laid it aside to season. Then he hewed it and planed it and bored it, and having fashioned it in the form of a pinnacle, carved the following inscription on it. First, this is the hall of goodness. Oh. <laughs> the name of the woman. But when he say, this is the heart of goodness, nobody can say anything, right? It's for goodness, it's mm-hmm. of course. Wow, very smart. <laughs> <laughs> now, when he had completed the hall and the day came to erect the pinnacle, he said to the 33 youths, it must be 34, right? Uh, including the prince, no? Noble sirs, there is something we have forgotten. What is it, sir? A pinnacle. Let us procure one, say the youth. Uh, It is impossible to make one out of a freshly hewn tree. (laughs) Hewn tree. Uh, Freshly cut, I guess, tree. We should procure for a pinnacle a tree fell long ago and led away to season, meaning to treat it, to let it uh, become, uh, you know, uh, more, more lasting. Yeah, by being in the sun or 
soak it in some uh, special treatment, something like that. So uh, they say, okay, what should we do in such a situation for the best? Okay, you can go around and search uh, if anyone who has such a, a, a complete uh, um, pinnacle uh, which has been laid away for seasoning and which is for sale, then is you can you can buy it. Yeah, you can take it. So they search everywhere and finding what they wanted in the house of goodness. They offer her a thousand pieces of money for it. But they were unable to secure it for the price they offered. Goodness said, If you will give me a share in the building of the hall, I will give you the pinnacle. Otherwise, yeah, or else. But they replied, We have resolved to give woman no share in the building of this hall. Thereupon the builder said to them, Noble sirs, what are you doing? With the exception of the word of Brahma, there is no place from which women are excluded, especially this word, right? Mm -hmm. So take the pinnacle, 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 right? Pinnacle. Take the pinnacle. Sorry, I'm thinking of pineapple. <laughs> 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 it's so so near, you know. Uh, pinnacle, yeah, and complete the hall. And they divided the hall into three parts. Reserving so very well, they accept it. They divide it into three parts: reserving one chamber for kings, another for the poor, and another for the sick. Then the thirty-three youths built thirty-three seats, and having so done, gave the following orders to the elephant. I'm looking for the end of the story. <laughs> it seems like a long story. I didn't see it was that long. <laughs> Okay. All right. Oh, do you guys need a rest or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a long story. I tell you the rest tomorrow. Okay? Yeah. I don't feel very uh very well. Okay? Yeah. I feel I could just why force it too much. Yeah. I need to go home, take more medicine and drink something and uh, take a rest and then see you soon, okay? You. Tomorrow. Yeah. Today you have more bonus than usual. <laughs> <laughs> one and a half story. <laughs> Normally it's just one story, right? Afternoon you had one complete story. <laughs> so this, and now you have Half complete story. <laughs> so it's good. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody going tomorrow? No, huh? It's good. Well, I thought I could stay young and sassy forever. But, <laughs> but it's not. Losing energy too much and losing too much cells too quickly doesn't help to keep young. Okay. Ciao. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. <laughs> oh, uh, maybe I just uh, sit with you for five minutes, okay? okay. You meditate, huh? Yeah. Turn off light, turn off everything. Hello. Hello. Oh, it smells so nice. <laughs> I did not sleep the whole night, okay? So if I fall asleep here, then you know. So that you can tell me that I didn't tell you. <laughs> I told you, huh? Yeah. So how is your siesta? Sleep? How how did you sleep? <laughs> hey, there's some more space up here for English speaking people. Man and a woman are just sitting more to make it feel a little warmer. My God, it's so cold outside. And oh man, they're stuck. Come in. Man, this side. English speaking only. <laughs> You don't have translation? Ah, is that correct here? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, feel like something in the... It feels like something in front of my face. Is it? Is there something? That's it? No more? They can sit in the middle of, of the road until I move. 
What is it all this? Uh, okay. Phone. And the story. I owe you half of the story yesterday, huh? I own you. You just came here and then I own you. Just like that. <laughs> yeah. No more English speaking? No. Working? Oh. oh. Poor people. Had to work in such a weather. Under the roof. <laughs> With the fire around them. Wow. How nice. And we have to sit here without anything. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this affect fur, okay, please. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Everybody look at me criticizing all kind of thing and thinking all kind of nonsense. Fake fur, <laughs> fake, man made, <laughs> human made. All right then. Okay, that's good, that's good. Are you all right then? Yes. That's it? No no more English speaking coming? Or need translation? Man, I keep telling you to learn English. Then you can sit right in the front. See that? <laughs> now we have all empty space here. Ah, also many no, not home yet, huh? And many have to work on the camera and audio and equipment and earphone and nose phone and eyes phone, everything. Busy, busy. And I have been busy all the time up to now. Lucky we have enough space inside, huh? Oh, I'm so happy because my cave uh, is now dry. I mean, my cave is dry, but the uh, the front porch for the dog was flooded because they they didn't they didn't connect the roof and the wall very well. You know, they are the sun roof just a. Uh, piece of transparent plastic, but they didn't connect well. They didn't put cement, so all the water was leaking in the middle between the cave and the, and the sun porch. And my dog's hut was also leaking. So we've done all that now. Yeah. I'm very happy. Mm, such an easy thing that didn't help me to do all this year. They should have, you know, because some people were always here, men, women, Old, young, monks, lay, I mean lay people. <laughs> Maybe the monk just laying around, that's why. <laughs> so they're both are lay people. <laughs> oh my God, and, and every time I came back and they wrote me a note, even. Uh, many years I haven't stayed here. But at least since the last retreat, huh? Right? When was the last retreat? Two years ago? Yes. yes. Okay, since then. I haven't been here, but before that it must have been leaking too because all my uh, organizing boxes are moldy inside, you know. Oh God, inside and then outside, but they affect each other, you know. Yeah, it's very simple. It just and then they wrote me a note saying, "Dear Master, whenever it rains, the whole place here is flooded, so I have to move all this thing inside your cave <laughs> uh, to keep them dry." If they know it's leaking, all they do is just fix it, right? Yes. Otherwise, always moving in, out, in, out, in, out. Yeah. Rainy weather, not rainy weather. Rainy, not rain, not. <laughs> love me, love me, not. <laughs> ay ay ay. And I even now have to fix it with the help of two female assistants. Yeah. In, including the dog room also. <laughs> <laughs> 